Hi, we're going to continue looking into the different ways to count how many possible combinations there can be or how many possible ways to accomplish something there are. This is basically, when you put it all together, the fundamental counting principle. The fundamental counting principle states essentially that the number of ways to accomplish a series of tasks, whether that be uh, determining whether a coin will land on heads or tails or choosing what clothes you're gonna wear based on what shirt you pick, what slacks you pick, what shoes you pick, what socks you pick. Everything is the product so what you get when you multiply the way to accomplish each individual task. And this will actually cover both dependent and independent tasks, but you do have to take that into account. So if there are A ways to do the first, B ways, for the second, and so on, then the total number of ways is A times B times so on. Suppose we have our digits zero through nine, so that is actually 10 different digits counting to zero. How many different numbers can be made with four digits if any of these four can be any of the 10 digits? Repetition is okay, so you can have 7,777. And order matters, so the number 23 is different from the number 32. That means there could be 10 numbers here, 10 here, 10 here, and 10 here, which is actually 10,000. Counting the zero, there are 10,000 numbers between zero and 9,999. So the four digit numbers, see this could actually be 0000, zero, zero, zero through 9,999, that's 10,000 numbers. What if the first digit cannot be zero? So the first digit has to be at least one and it has to be an even number. Okay, so we've still got a four digit number if we're not including numbers from zero to 999, the first digit has to be at least one. So this has to be at least the number 1000. Then this has only nine possibilities instead of 10. What if it has to be an even number? then that means that this four digit number has to end with zero, two, four, six, or eight. So now there are only five possibilities to go here. We still got 10 numbers that could go in the second and third position. So now we've got nine times 10 is 90, times 10 is 900, times five, is we're down to 4,500 possibilities. That makes sense. We just dropped off the first 1,000, so that's down to 9,000 numbers from the 10,000. And there's got half of those will be even numbers, so that splits it down to 4,500. So we can break it up that way. What if we go back to a four digit number, forget about the second part here. However, now we can't repeat digits. If we cannot repeat digits, the first digit could be any 
of the 10, zero through nine. But whatever it is, that's going to knock one of those out. So now we can only have nine to choose from for the second position. We'll only have eight to choose from from the third position, seven to choose from for the fourth position. And so now we are up to are still 5,040 numbers in the numbers zero through 9,999 that do not have any of the same two digits. Suppose we have a special situation where from a group of 10 people, we are gonna make a committee of five of them. So we're gonna choose five out of the 10. Of these five, one is going to lead the group and one is going to be the secretary. So take notes. So we've got five people from a group of 10. We're going to choose one of them to be the leader. So we've got the leader. We got the secretary. And then the other three are just gonna be on the same level. So there are 10 people to choose from this group of 10 to be the leader of this committee. That only leaves nine people to choose from to be the secretary. Now of these last three, order doesn't matter. These are all equal. So even though there's eight and seven and six respectively to choose from, of these, we could have A, B, and C, or C, B, and A. See, so there's several ways to choose these three. So here we are going to choose three people, uh, but order doesn't matter. So we have to take into account how many ways there are to seat basically these three other people. How many different orders can you put three in? Well, there's three times two times one ways to seat these people. However, there are eight times seven times six ways to choose these people and then six ways to seat them. These six will all be the same so we're actually going to divide this eight times seven times six. We're going to divide this by the six. Because all three of these, the ABC, the CBA, the BCA, the BAC, let's see, the ACB, and the C, we're missing two C's at the beginning, C, B, A, so C, A, B. All three of these will count as the same committee. So if there are six ways to choose these people, but they all result in the same group of three, then that's actually only one group. So we're gonna divide out the eight times seven by six by the three times two times one. So we end up with 10 times nine times eight times seven times six divided by the three times two times one. The one's not gonna do anything. The three times two cancels out the six. 
So we actually end up with 5,040, which was exactly the same number as the previous uh, problem where we couldn't have repeat digits. I think that's a coincidence. But does that make sense? There are six ways that would all count as one group of three. So there are eight people to choose from for the first spot, seven to choose from from the six, second, six to choose from for the fifth place. But groups of six of those each, you can split them up into groups of six. So the seven times, so the eight times seven times six will actually be set in groups of six where that will all be the same committee. So there's actually 5,040 different ways to choose five people out of a group of 10 with one as the leader, one as the secretary, and then the other three order doesn't matter. Okay, so I know this can be a little bit tricky. You have to really think hard on some of these, but with some practice, it gets a lot easier and I hope you'll kind of enjoy it and treat it as a puzzle, not, a, not so much a threat. Have fun, it'll get easier as you go. See you later.